Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. And I am going to demonstrate how to download images from TSU. And so I'm going to do a screen share here. Oh, look. We see the, the endless um, Google Hangout corridor of, of limbo. <laughs> It's always fun when, when we show that up. Okay. So, as we know, these days, if you try to download an image from TSU, we right-click and, oh, nothing happens. Click, click, click. Nothing happens. We could try to view the, the page source and whatever all we want, and no matter what, it's pretty well hopeless. Um, there is just no way to get, you know, an image link to be able to download it. Well, I'm going to show you how to bypass that. Now, first, let me explain something. People might be wondering... Why did they did they disallow this? Why did they make it so that you can't download images? The first thing that might come to people's minds is, oh, they're protecting copyright or something, right? But that's actually rather illogical and doesn't make much sense because, first of all, there's no way to stop anybody from uploading a copyrighted image in the first place. And second of all, if someone really wants to download an image, all they have to do, as I'm demonstrating here, is just, you know, go into whatever screen capture program that's, uh, you know, they want to use. And for, you know, anything like on this edge here where that little curve is showing or whatever, you can always load that into a program and touch it up and whatever and then just upload it wherever else so the point is is that it doesn't really stop anybody from doing anything so the idea that oh well they did this to protect copyright is rather ridiculous because it doesn't protect shit so in my opinion the real reason they did it is there was probably too much off-site linking like when you take the the source URL, the source address of the image, you know, www.whatever, et cetera, et cetera, forward slash blah, 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 and then whatever.jpg or png or what have you, um, and you embed that on another site, and let's say that page on that other site is kind of a popular one, every time someone views that, it's pulling from the original link. Therefore, it's utilizing bandwidth that um you know tsu is paying for their bandwidth of course but it's being utilized through another site but there's no no credit going back to back to tsu you know or sue as it's called whichever you, one you want to say sue tsu whatever um so there's there's nothing crediting back usually so you know other sites are being, you know, resource hogs and, you know, pulling on TSU's resources, but yet there's no compensation in any way, shape, or form going back to TSU. No, no credit, no links, no nothing. The image is just being embedded as a part of another website. So in my opinion, this has just been a, a countermeasure to uh, stop that. So now I'm going to show you how to actually download the images first um i wouldn't recommend doing it through here because like obviously these are just thumbnails and so what would probably happen is if you do it through here you're just going to end up downloading the thumbnails the best way to do it and i'll just kind of take a moment to just kind of give a shameless plug to you know a friend of mine's uh tsu here Rochelle DeYoung, because she posts, you know, her art and stuff, and she's into drawing and photography and all sorts of stuff like that, so this is perfect. Um, 
the first thing you're going to want to do is just keep scrolling down and make sure that all of the images that you want to capture are loaded onto the page. Because obviously, you know, it refreshes at the bottom as you continue scrolling and, you know, if someone wanted to take the time, they could scroll all, scroll all the way back to, you know, the beginning of, you know, the person, you know, from the first day that the person was on TSU, if they wanted to take the time to scroll all the way back that far. But I'm just going to scroll back a little bit here, get a bunch of images loaded and so on and so forth. Okay, so we got all those loaded now. Now the first step is to download a Firefox plugin called Print Pages to PDF. And we see it coming up here. We see that, you know, the address to search is addons.mozilla.org. So it's Mozilla Firefox add-ons. So we click on print pages to PDF. I obviously already have it installed, but if you don't, then you just add to Firefox. Creates one PDF from any amount of open browser tags, bookmarks, folder, scrapbook, plus pages. This document can be archived, sent, sended by email. Somebody doesn't know how to speak English. Sent by email or printed out with any standard PDF viewer. And it explains about this add-on and what it can do, converting a web page to a PDF, converting all open tabs to a single PDF, you know, so on and so forth. This thing is very versatile. So I already have this installed, so moving on. When I go under tools here, print pages to PDF. And I just want to print the active tab. I don't want to print active tab text. I want to print active tab. I don't want to print all tabs or all tabs text. So I just want to print active tab right here. So I'm going to click that. I'm just going to pop up here, print pages to PDF, processing, so on and so forth. So it's doing its thing. Got to just give that a moment. And it's converting it to Rochelle D. Young, TSU, dot PDF. See, I can expand that to give the full statistic of what it's doing there. So we see that it is converting, and do 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 do, and we're just waiting for this to get done. So now it's asking me where to save it. I'm just gonna kind of put it in. Um, well, I guess I could just stick it straight in the documents folder here. Yeah, no deal. So, okay. I'm going to save that, and that's done. So now, obviously, I am running Linux, but the add-on is for Firefox, so it doesn't matter if you're running, you know, Linux or Windows or Mac or whatever, you know, the process is, is pretty much the same regardless. Um, it's an add-on for Firefox itself, not you know, for any particular operating system. And, um, you know, regardless of which operating system, you know, files are files, folders are folders. Um, a computer works basically the same way, regardless of which OS, as far as things that are common to it. A folder is a folder no matter what. A web page is a web page no matter what. A PDF is a PDF. An MP3 is an MP3, so on and so forth. So if you're using Windows or Mac, don't let you know, the fact that I'm using a Linux interface here confuse you because the same concept is the same. You know, you still have a, a desktop environment there. You know, you still have your desktop with your icons and so on and so forth. You know, you still have things like, you know, music and pictures and downloads and, you know, 
documents and so on and yada. Uh, speaking of, I forgot I forgot to link the documents on here. I'll have to do that. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, so documents, may as well add that as a bookmark because I apparently forgot to do that. Okay. So now we're going all the way down. We have Rochelle De Young, TSU PDF. So um, we can I can open that in document uh, viewer. Um, you might have other dif different applications. Um, don't open it with GIMP. That's not going to work well. Um, GIMP is available for, I do believe, Windows, Mac, Linux, pretty much all operating systems. Don't open it with GIMP. Um, I'm going to open it with a document viewer, but, it, you know, if you've got specifically something that's, you know, Adobe PDF viewer or, you know, whatever, use whichever PDF viewing application, you know, floats your boat, whatever does it for you. I'm just going to use the, the Linux document viewer here. Um, you can use whatever floats your boat. So now as we scroll here, notice how between the pages it seems to cut off images and things like that don't worry about that because when we extract them from this pdf regardless of the fact that it shows as cut off when you're when you're looking at it on here um it's technically not cut off but it is going to save as you know the fully formed image so we can see as we're scrolling here that you know i've you know everything that was on the tsu page is here so you know we can see this we could you know we can see that tags are hyperlinked and i can highlight and you know text is text and images are images and you know so on and so on so now i'm going to hover over this image i'm going to right click and it says save image as um Whatever you're using to view a PDF, it should have a very similar function when you do this. It might say save picture as, it might say export to location, and you know, depending on what viewer you're do, you're using, but it's gonna have something that is phrased similarly that that indicates that yes, this is the option to actually save that image to a directory on your hard drive. So there's going to be something that indicates that that's what the function does. So I'm going to click Save Image. And again, just to kind of keep things all in the same place. Um, image test dot PNG. I'm just going to save that as a PNG file. I'm going to call it image test. So now whatever program you're using, it might not be quite that flexible. Like for example, your program might possibly detect what the original image format was. It might force an extension. It might tell you that it has to be PNG or it has to be JPEG or it has to be whatever. And so then if you change the extension to something that it's not supposed to be and then you try to view it, that might screw up on you depending on your viewer. So if, it, if your viewer is trying to force an extension, um, stick with what it's telling you to do. Um, Mine isn't picky. I could save this just by typing in the extension. This thing knows to save it to a, a PNG or to a JPEG or whatever I select. Because of the extension that I type, this thing is smart enough to realize what I'm telling it to do. I personally prefer PNG. So we're going to save. And it saved it. Now we're going to go back into Documents. And we see Image Test. Dot PNG, and it's uh, 1.5 megs, so it's the full, you know, image, whatever the full quality is that the uploader uploaded it. In this case, it was Rochelle who uploaded it, so it's not some dumbed down, like crappy, watered down version. So I'm going to open with Image Viewer, and ta-da! Check it out, guys. It's the full image. I have saved it. Zoom in, zoom out. You know, you can see that it's full quality. 
I can barely make out what that sign says, but I don't think it was captured all that clearly to begin with. But yeah, see? So I've got the full image, and there's no problem. I've totally got it. So again, and now I can obviously, you know, close this out and delete these. It's all well and good. Okay. That, that, delete it. Hasta la bye bye. Thank you, come again. Alrighty. So yeah, um, again, all you're going to need is the print pages to PDF add-on. So that's add-ons.mozilla.org. Um, if you do not already use Firefox, that's easy enough to obtain. You could just type into Google or whatever search engine you so desire. Download Firefox. And then there we go. Mozilla.org, Firefox, download, and go in there and just, you know, follow through if you don't have Firefox already. If you do have Firefox already, um, you can go to addons.mozilla.org or you can go into your add-ons thingy, um, you know, the options there, and go into get add-ons and you can search prints pages to PDF and hit the search, but that's not going to show up for me doing that because I already have it installed. So I go into extensions and as you can see, print pages to PDF is already there and you know I can go into the into the preferences and uh, yeah, you know, there's all the preferences. So I'm not going to go through every little preference on here. You can ins you can go through that on your own. You can explore that on your own. I just wanted to show you how to download images from TSU or SU or however you want to say it. So yeah, that is how to do it. So thank you for watching and... Hopefully that helps you, and have a good morning, day, evening, whatever it happens to be in your time zone. Alrighty, catch you later. Peace out.